Welcome back guys to the PvP build on my Magicka DK with the new DK class set called Pyrebrand. Which has two procs, the first one, your light attack deal flame damage over 6 seconds. This proc alone is already broken. It deals more damage than most dot abilities or dot proc sets out there. It hits around 1 to 2k plus every 2 seconds, has a chance to proc the burning cells effect and has on top no cooldown at all. You can proc it on infinite targets, it's not even limited on a single target, like for example on the wanted set. It's so strong. Now the second effect. Your fully charged heavy attacks consume up to 3 of your damage over time effects to deal flame damage in a 6 meter radius on the target. It's a ground based AoE, dealing up to 200% more damage to enemies below 33% health, so as an execute bonus implemented. The damage scales with your weapon spell damage and is increased by 20% for each dot ability you have on your target, up to 60%, means you only need 3 dots overall to gain the maximum bonus. This proc hits around 2 to 4k and an execute range up to 10k plus. Both procs combined are basically two proc sets combined in one 5 set piece bonus. Just insane. The heavy tech proc gets even better if you combine it with the monster set Anthemir. Your enemies will literally melt one fully charged heavy tech procs, two strong proc sets. That really, really hurts. By the way, you can obtain Pyroband by grinding the infinite archive in best case with a DK or by buying these crates for fortunes at the merchant called Firebrax. I recommend to buy the blue ones for 2k each. A second set, Wedding Cry, needed for the extra tankiness and also weapon spare damage, which empower Anthemir and Pyrebrand as fellow 120 and the Mythic Saint and Seducer, my favorite melee mythic item at the moment, provides a ton of major buffs, minor debuffs against your target. Armor types 1 heavy chest in reinforced, 3 light, 3 medium, with 5 well fitted and 1 sturdy. That's always the nice stuff about when you cry, you can use a ton of well fitted, sturdy pieces, reinforced or even divine pieces without losing tankiness, full prismatic glyphs obviously best and snot here, full infuse on a jury with one magicka recovery, one prismatic recovery and one weapon spell damage, on the front bar two mazes for the extra pen, learn sharp, flame poison chant and back by nice stuff in defending with the escape is poison. Quick look on the skills, nothing has changed here, degeneration, venomous claw, molten whip, shattering rocks, flames of oblivion, furious sleep, back by illusas, risk against time, vigor, volatile armor, Coagulating Blood and Corrosive Armor. Our three dots are basically degen with Venomous Claw and the Poison Cells effect. If you apply those, you can fully charge heavy attack afterwards and you're Gucci to go. Super simple playstyle with a ton of burst damage. Ray Stammer for the extra weapon spell damage, flame resistance, magic and stamina. Breton for cost reduction is also possible. High Elf should be the third best choice. Mundus the Atonak for the magic and recovery. Smoke behind his buff food. Still Vampire, even with the Undeath passive nerfed from 30 up to 50% now. Still worth to use, gives us the extra tankiness we need. 28 points into health, the rest into Magicka. Like this, I'm at around 30k HP, which is more than enough on a DK. With course of armor, we are almost immortal. Potion, the twice a potion. And CP is pretty basic with daddy aim, raw full strikes. I've decided to use two defensive CPs with Ironclad and do this rebuff. In group play, for example, small scale or bigger groups, I would probably de slot Ironclad for Exploiter. For this CP here since we can set the enemy off balance with Molten Whip and Shedding Rocks, gives us 10% more damage. Red's a piece is Damper Suffering, Pains with Huge Celebrity and Slippery. If you do not struggle with high ping like me, I would probably use Survival Instincts instead of Slippery. Gives a ton of cost reduction on our core combat skills, so block, road dodge, bash, that kind of stuff. Combination, pre-buff yourself first with Race Against Time, Volatile Armor, Vigor and Flames of Oblivion. Start with Degeneration, Indesus, Claw, fully charged heavy attack, into leap, into more whip spam. If leap is not up, you're simply shattering rocks after your fully charged heavy attack. That's it with another PvP bit. What do you think about Pyrebrand? I personally really like it. It's probably a little bit too overpowered, but we'll take it. Enjoy the gameplay footage, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.